Now we're going to look at some example artifacts that you might create when developing the data architecture in phase C. Remember that you don't need to know any detail about these uh, artifacts. This is just more for sort of background information and just giving you an idea of what some of these uh, might look like. Uh, the main thing to remember is where to go and find the information in the uh, TOGAF uh, standard. Uh, and uh, that's on page 328 and then the uh, for the uh, list of the uh, artifacts uh, and then pages 329 to 348 for the descriptions. So we have uh, catalogs, matrices and diagrams relevant to, uh, to data architecture and we have uh, one catalog which is the data entity data component catalog to identify and maintain a list of all the data used across the enterprise including data entities and also data components. In terms of the matrices, we have uh, two matrices. We have the data entity business function matrix, which depicts the relationship between data entities and business functions within the enterprise. Uh, mapping uh, within the uh, matrix uh, enables uh, assignment of ownership of data entities to organizations, understand the data and, and information exchange requirements, uh, uh, business services, support the uh, gap analysis and determine whether any data entities are missing and need to be created, define system of origin, system of record and system of reference for data entities and enable development of data governance programs across the enterprise. And it could look a bit like that. So that's data entity business function matrix or very, uh, a very small part of one. Application data matrix depicts the relationships between the applications and the data entities that are assessed, uh, are accessed and updated by them. Applications will create, read, update and delete specific data entities that are associated with them. For example, uh, a CRM application will create, read, update and delete customer entity information. And it could look a bit like that. So that's um, you know, what you might see in an application data matrix. In terms of the uh, diagrams, we have a conceptual data diagram that depicts relationships among the critical data entities uh, or classes with the enterprise. A logical data diagram uh, views the relationships among the critical data entities or classes within the enterprise, uh, audiences, application developers and database designers. Data dissemination diagram shows the relationships between data entity, business service and application components and should show how the logical entities are to be physically realized by application components. Additionally, the diagram may show data replication and system ownership uh, of the master reference uh, for data. And it could look a bit like that. Data security diagram depicts which uh, actor, person, organization, or system can access which uh, enterprise data. Uh, this relationship can also be shown in a matrix form between two objects uh, or shown as a mapping. Uh, so that's the example data security diagram, and that's showing it as a, uh, a matrix. Data migration diagram shows the flow of data from the source to the target applications, provides a visual representation of the spread of source and targets and serves as a tool for data auditing and establishing traceability. Uh, and it could look a bit like that. And we could also see some of the mapping uh, within uh, a matrix. And the data lifecycle diagram uh, in the central part of managing business data throughout its life cycle from conception until disposal within the constraints of the business process. And it could look a bit like that. So those were just a few examples of what some of the uh, artifacts related to data architecture might look like. Remembering, of course, that it's the, the purpose of a particular artifact, which is the most important aspect when it comes to uh, exam questions. Um, but you may find you useful just to sort of get a visual on what some of these might look like, particularly, of course, if you're going to end up creating them uh, in the re real world.